Imagine yourself standing at the crease, getting ready to face the next ball. You glance down the pitch, and there he is, Shoy Bakhtar, charging towards you like a raging bull. His hair flowing in the air, with his big chest out, the legs pumping like pistons, and with thunder in his eyes. As he releases the ball with a ferocious roar, you can almost feel the ground shake beneath your feet. This is what every batsman in the world had to go through when facing the Rawal Pindi Express. His raw pace and relentless aggression made him a nightmare to face, leaving even the most seasoned professionals petrified at the crease. Be it Sachin Tendulkar, Brian Lara, or Ricky Ponting, no one was spared from the wrath of Shoy Bakhtar. So today, let's delve into the gripping tale of Shoy Bakhtar, the enigmatic speed demon who left an indelible mark on the world of cricket. In the blistering heat of Rawalpindi, Pakistan, a young boy dreamt of greatness. Little did the world know that this boy would grow up to be a phenomena, a force of nature that would shake the very foundations of cricket. But what if I tell you that if you had seen Shoaib Bakhtar during his childhood, you would have never thought that this kid was going to break the world record of fast bowling. The reason is that Shoaib was born flat-footed. He could never maintain his balance and had a tendency of falling down in his early days. And at the age of three, he was down with a bout of whooping cough. Things had taken a turn so bad that his grandfather told Shoaib's mother not to spend money on his treatment and save them for Shoaib's funeral. Thanks to the diligence of his mother, he somehow managed to pull it through. However, the doctors warned his parents that his lungs would be weak forever. Contrary to the prediction, Shoaib's lungs actually expanded, which became the reason of his high stamina, due to which he was able to bowl such deadly and lengthy spells without much problem. Akhtar struggled during his early days. However, in 1994, a young Shoaib was called to bowl for Pindi Club when they were a player short. He took the ball and marked his 70-yard runner that would become famous in the decade to follow. A fielder actually yelled at him that he was supposed to bowl and not field, to which Shoaib Akhtar responded, Just let me do my thing, whatever I do, I do it like a star. Everyone thought that the kid was being arrogant, but what Shoaib Akhtar did after this shocked everyone. The first ball hit the batsman's head and the second on his chest. The Rawalpindi Express introduced himself in the same aggressive manner that he's known for. He caught the eye of Majid Khan, the then chief executive of the PCB, and after a good performance for the Pakistan A team's tour of England in 1996, he was rewarded with his maiden test cap against the West Indies in 1997. My goodness, he was quick. He was seriously quick. And again, another young Pakistan bowler that could bowl Yorkers at will. Shoaib Akhtar, the epitome of pace bowling prowess, unleashed a bowling style that struck fear into the hearts of batsmen worldwide. With a thunderous run-up resembling a charging bull, he approached the crease with a ferocity that was unmatched. His lightning-fast arm action, coupled with an explosive release, sent the ball hurtling towards the batsman at blistering speeds, often surpassing the 100 miles per hour mark. Akhtar's ability to generate sheer pace, combined with subtle variations in seam position and swing, made him a nightmare for even the best batsmen. He took a long run-up, akin to an aircraft's takeoff on a runway, which provided him with significant inertia, and his bowling action was supported by his shoulder allowing him to harness all the momentum that was built up during his long run-up and deliver the ball with maximum force. Shoaib had a fierce and aggressive attitude on the field. He was not afraid to intimidate batsmen with his raw pace and aggressive body language. He often engaged in verbal duels and stare-downs with opposition players, making him a captivating figure on the field. In one incident, Akhtar warned Bretley that he would kill him. And if the same was told by any other bowler, Lee would not have worried a lot. But this was Shoaib Akhtar. You just cannot get complacent when he's bowling. I'm petrified. I'm thinking, this is Shoaib Akhtar, about to bowl to me. Bowling bounces to the batters was one of his strongest weapons, and he utilised them fully to trouble them during his playing days. With his imposing stature and explosive delivery stride, Shoaib generated ferocious pace and sent thunderbolts crashing into the pitch causing the ball to rear up viciously towards the batsman's chest or throat. 
the Rawalpindi Express was kind of obsessed with bowling bouncers to the batters and has openly said he used to bowl bouncers to make batters dance like monkeys. I bowl bouncers because watching batters jump like monkeys was heartening to see. Then there was the Akhtar slower ball. No bowler has ever delivered this variation with a bigger drop off in speed from the stock ball and he bowled it with no noticeable change in arm action. Although the 2003 Cricket World Cup was a forgettable event in Pakistan's and Akhtar's career, he was able to accomplish what no one in the world was able to do. He shocked the world as he became the fastest bowler bowling at a speed of 161.3 km per hour in a match against England and this record stands to date. Just imagine the plight of the batsman who had to face this particular delivery. Throughout his illustrious career, Shoaib has produced several incredible spells. However, his spell against New Zealand stands out from the rest. While batting first, Pakistan made 643 runs and while replying, Shoaib took wickets regularly and did not allow the New Zealand batters to get any kind of rhythm and they were bowled out for just 73 runs. Shoaib Akhtar took 6 wickets for only a meager 11 runs. If you watch those deliveries, there were 4 pinpoint yorkers, the other 2 balls also full enough to just about fall under that classification. All of them beating the batsman for pace with little or no reverse in play. Teji, that's the word. If you look at his statistics, he has played 46 test matches and has taken 178 test wickets in his career at an average of 25.70 with 12-5 wicket hauls and 2 times 10 wickets in an innings. In ODIs, he played 163 matches for Pakistan and took 247 wickets at an average of 24.98 with 4-5 wicket hauls in ODIs. However, many cricket pundits believe that statistics and records don't do justice to the illustrious career that Shoaib Bhakta had. And actually, his mastery reflected not just any statistics, but in the awe-inspiring spectacle of his thunderous deliveries that left an indelible mark on cricketing history. When Shoaib stepped onto the field, you could feel the ground tremble beneath your feet. He wasn't just a bowler, he was a spectacle, a whirlwind of pace and fury. From the dusty pitches of his native Pakistan to the grand stages of international cricket, Akhtar's bowling prowess captivated audiences worldwide. His ability to consistently unleash thunderbolts at astonishing speeds, coupled with his charismatic persona, made him a true icon of the game. Shoaib Akhtar wasn't just good, he was a force of nature, a colossus whose impact on the sport will be revered for generations to come. So guys, that's it for today's video. And if we talk about Pakistan legends, why not click on the video being displayed on your screen to look at how good was Wasim Akram. Like always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, keep watching this beautiful game. See you soon.